Hi, we are in video number 20 and we are going to talk about the topics of weather, climatic conditions and the effect of temperature on fish and its growth. Okay. Yeah. So, we are coming to the topic because uh, I am basically from India. I stay in southern part of India where temperatures are higher when compared to northern part of India. Okay. So, basing upon my experiences, I am going to share a few things. So, the most important thing here is, because I am not living in a cold climatic conditions, I am sorry for not being able to provide the information which is going to help uh, the new aquarists who are uh, living in the cold regions. Okay? Yes, uh, come on, let, let me share something with you. So what I used to do or how I used to take care in uh, different climatic conditions. For us there are two main uh, climate, three, uh, three climates. One is summer, rainy and winter. Okay. When it comes to summer, what I have observed is, like us, uh, fish also has good digestibility uh, because of the uh, hot atmosphere around them. So when the atmosphere around the fish is uh, warm or something like that the, the the digestive process and the metabolic activity will be high and the digestion will be good so obviously the growth will be good and, and another thing what i want to talk to you is uh, about yes the climatic condition because if i if you want to change the water uh, for the aquarium what i suggest people who are living in the tropical regions is yeah please try to change the water early in the morning because yeah if you are getting water from the bore well that is a different story but if you uh, take water from the overhead tank and when the climatic conditions are uh, the the heat is soaring up the tank the water in the tank gets heated up and the water which comes through the pipes gets more heated and if you uh, forget about all these and if you suddenly change the water there will be adverse effects on the fish so if you can change the water early in the morning uh, the water will be cool not hot and the fish will be comfortable with that water change <coughs> and for us in india in summer especially in villages we we experience the power of power off because uh, power uh, electricity will not be supplied to us for up to uh, four or five hours or something like that continuously so if 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 people uh, who are in these uh, conditions if I request them or suggest them not to keep many fish in a limited space because they need more oxygen and uh, all the fish thrive or survive only because the help of the air pump if there is no electricity the air pump may not work for four five hours if the electricity uh, if there is no electricity uh, if there is no <coughs> oxygen supply uh, the fish may gasp for oxygen because of high density of fish in a limited space so to avoid this uh, for people who are facing this uh, electricity problems if they want to avoid these sort of situations what I suggest them is you please keep very little fish in a bigger space okay and the another thing <coughs> if you can uh, have a generator connection or an inverter co co connection that will be fine if not yeah you please keep uh, the interruption of power supply in view and one more suggestion I want to tell you if people living in a very in tropical regions if they want to keep their fish happy even in hot summers what I suggest them is for example if you take this is a cemented tank which is round or rectangle or shape or a square whatever it may be what I suggest you is if you can bury the tank half or three-fourth of the tank into the ground you dig a small pit or some sort of thing and keep the uh, cemented tank or a plastic tub into it and cover it with mud 
only the little portion will be left outside so what happens and if you wet the land around it around the cemented tank which the error the soil around the cemented tank the soil gets wet and the water which got submerged into the ground will be cool so that the fish will not face any sort of problems so yes when it comes to <coughs> uh, the rainy season or the winter season in those seasons uh, the fish are prone to diseases are really prone to diseases because of the cold climate or sudden change from rainy to uh, summer to rainy or rainy to winter or the cold breeze because they are tropical fish and they are more acquainted or habituated to the uh, tropical climate so basing on that so you, you, depending upon the fish you have you have if needed you have to uh, provide them with heaters and if, pe if people who are planning to go for a planted aquarium and if they place the tank uh, beside the window or something please make sure that uh, the cold breeze uh, doesn't affect your fish and uh, when it comes to the digestibility of the fish the metabolic activity will generally be slow when compared to summer so what i say is is please do not overfeed the fish uh, so that that may cause some more problems and try to maintain the aquarium as clean as possible in rainy season and winter season why because uh, fish are more prone to diseases and they are very sensitive in those two seasons so it's better you be cautious and uh, keep some medications in advance general uh, medical kit in advance and if possible uh, apply a little little doses of medicine in advance so that uh, the fish will not be affected or stressed or something sort of things so as we said uh, in as uh, in summer we change the water early in the morning in the winter uh, as we all know the tanks get uh, the water in the tank gets uh, becomes very cool or the water in the pipe becomes more colder and if you change uh, water in the mornings uh, the that may affect the fish so if you can if so if there is a possibility for you to change the water in the afternoon uh, so that the climate will be a bit warm i feel the fish will be very comfortable in such sort of water changes so this is all for now and in our next video video number 21 we are going to discuss about cleaning the tank and the ways we can clean it and so that we don't need to feel more stressed or uh, strained in this process so i just want to uh, share with you a few things about how to clean the tank in an easy way and in a clean way so until then bye so let's meet on in our video number 21 thank you